Hey everybody, Gomer here. Just want to do a vlog update real quick. Now we have something put out there. Ugh, it's been too long since I've actually produced a new video. Uh, about the time you see this, you'll probably see the re-uploaded Low G-Man review with lower music volumes. I can't believe I didn't realize that when I originally uploaded it. Oh, God, that was embarrassing. But, I'm fixing it, putting it up, but I've put it up. By this point, by the time you see this, and you'll notice the lovely little cameo at the end. Yee! It, I, it was awesome to get get her to work with me. I'm not going to spoil it for those who haven't seen it, so go watch it if you haven't. And then come back. <sighs> for those of you who are just joining me after re-watching the Low G-Man review, the re-uploaded one, welcome. So, um, so news, you know, personal stuff. Um, learning how to be a truck driver, get my CDL, so I can earn some money. And that's going to change the face of my reviews quite a bit. Um, for one, a lot of them are now going to come from the sleeper berth of a, of a semi. And that probably won't happen much until, like, maybe six or eight weeks after I get my CDL and start working for a company. Which... Which Wednesday? Wednesday from today. Wednesday of this week. You know, um, I should be able to... Um, test and hopefully get it. If not, I'll have one other free try, courtesy of the trucking school I went to. Um, let's see. What else do we have? So, that'll, that'll be something. Speaking of videos, um, <clears throat> I will still be continuing to work on Play It to the Back Row, except I'm going to split the movies and plays and the games into two separate series. Play It to the Back Row will still have the movies and plays, and then I've created a new persona, the Stage Gamer. Now, obviously, he's going to cover the games. And if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see uh, kind of a preliminary outfit for the stage gamer, which one girl has said reminded her of Bennett, the stage. Which, it's like, yeah, I can see that, you know, the hat and everything. So, um, so that'll, that'll be an interesting take on things. Yes, I'll still be covering old school Nintendo games with that personality. Um, probably Game Boy games, too. At least, at least for now. Um, uh, for those of you who actually follow and enjoyed my Gomer Play series, as soon as I feasibly can, I'm going to start back on Sword of Mana. <laughs> I need to. Oh, man, I really need to. Because I kind of want to finish it up, get it out of the way, and then I can start another series and everything. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, other series I've got, you know, in planning stages. One is a... It's... It's a series similar to like Lord Cat Eats or Brad Tries. Instead of, but instead of me eating things like bull penis or drinking blood or whatever, I'm going to be testing out burgers because I'm going to be traveling. I love hamburgers. I love cheeseburgers. Why not test them all out all around the country? Or at least wherever I'm able to drive. Because I'm sure there are a lot of mom and pop places or just local establishments. And, you know, if you're ever in that area, are they good burgers? Uh, in fact, there's one such place just within walking distance of this very house. And I, I actually tried that, and the burger wasn't too awful bad. You know, cooked just the right temperature, tastes okay, you know, pretty good size. So, yeah, I, the only downfall of that one is the price. Nine dollars for burger and fries. You can get that, when I worked at Disney World, you could get that for nine dollars. And, and that was the cheapest. Ugh, but, you know. But there are other places you can get cheaper burgers as well, so. At least in Indianapolis. Um, and there are a few other places that I've been to around the country, including back home, that I could probably talk about, but, but you know, you get the general idea. You know, all burgers, all the time. Okay, mostly burgers, most of the time. Because <laughs> uh, I'll probably sample other things as well. Um. Uh, another another series I'm thinking of doing, and I just thought of it today actually, is a ser singing series rather. Uh, yes, I know it's not the most original. Just put up me doing a karaoke track, you know. Hope it entertains, that sort of thing. Uh, it could be anything. It could be pop rock. Uh, there are some songs I will probably never do, whether it's because of range or whether it's because I simply don't like the song. Uh, we'll try and, I'll try and get some good uh, Broadway tracks in there as well, because those are so much fun. <laughs> uh, but, um, but yeah, so 
And I also, I still need to work on rants and shit. And it's like, you know, there's so much stuff I need to do, but life has happened and it's thrown me for a loop. You know, and, and I'm sure, and I'm sure a lot of people understand. Like, yeah, yeah, man, we, we understand that. So, but, with the trucking job, uh, there's, there's one thing I want to put out here in this video. Big goal, you know, besides upgrading equipment and shit. Make it to MAGFest 2012. Um, I know uh, Diamanda Hagen is going to work towards that end as well. And if she's going to do it, I'm going to do it myself so the two of us can meet up. And we'll just have a proper Gomer Hagen crossover. <laughs> Which will be awesome, I think. So it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun. Thing is, what will we do? Who knows? We have about a year to plan. <laughs> oh, man. And um, speaking of crossovers, still still planning and working and tinking out things for at least the outlying script for the anniversary video. And no, if you don't, if you're not on the uh, cameo list or whatever, I'm not telling you what the movie is. And if you're on the cameo list, don't spoil it, please. Just... Uh, but I will say that what I have planned, if I can work it out the way I want it, is going to be great. Because that's my plan. But, as we've seen, not everything can always goes as planned, right? <laughs> but, you know, you never know. So, um, as far as Thespian Talk goes, there's going to be some changes here and there. I'll, I'll make some formal announcements before I hit the road. And I'll probably end up going back to the Skype method, what I call the Skype method, which is what I did for the first five episodes of Thespian Talk version 2, uh, for those who want some kind of reference to it. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find places where the Wi-Fi from a particular truck stop reaches all the way out to the truck, so I can just sit there in the truck and just do my stuff on there and do the Skype thing and all that. That probably won't happen for a while, mainly because I've got to spend at least eight or so weeks in training. And then I've got to be able to get a new computer, that sort of thing. So it's going to be a little bit before that can happen, but who knows? Who knows, there might be, a, there might be times where I have, you know, my mandatory two days off in some place where I know somebody lives and would love to co-host the show, you know. So, you know, there, there are different things that can happen with that. Um, keeping an open mind, hope, you know, hope other potential co-hosts will too. Um... Let's see, what else is there? What else is there? Uh, I've covered Thespian Talk, I've covered, uh, covered Stage Gamer, covered the new series. Um, and yes, as you see, no more bushy beard. Bye bye beard. <laughs> Which I told my title card artist that. I told, I told Nelly that I was shaving off the beard. She's like, no, don't shave off the beard. Uh, some people cried tears of sorrow. And some people try tears of joy. Eh, can't please everybody, right? But, um... What else is there? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, Low G Man. It's gonna be re-uploaded because I had to fix the audio problem. I'll keep the original up there because it has brought in some revenue. But... I'll have the new one up there. And I'll also cross-post that to YouTube as well. But, um... Or maybe I should just have a little sampler. You know, like some other people do. I think Hagen does it. I think even the nerd does it. Has little, you know, little teasers for um, for particular reviews, and I should probably do that as well. Um, I'll just figure out the format. <laughs> That's all I got to do. Um, Doctor Who thoughts? I'm still working on it. It's everything's in the post production stage. It's been in post production hell. You know, because hey, life happens. You know, so trying to work on that, get that done. Um, so yeah, so okay, you'll see this. You'll see the low G man review the same day. You'll probably see it before you see this. Um, well, the re-uploaded low G man review, I should say. I correct my, I have to correct myself. That's the good thing about these vlogs. Not a lot of editing is necessary. We just sit back and chill and chat and shoot the shit. Um, uh, those of you who've watched all the way to the end, thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.